Fairmont model MEP 803A. This was born on 8 of 98 and it had a tier 2 reset at Leonard Kenny. We're going to take a walk around this and, and show you everything. So there's a couple screws missing out of the top. The flapper is there. Top looks good. There's a ding in the there's a ding there and there's some paint missing. It's an aluminum top, it'll never rust. Some mold forming over there on the edges. Uh, looks pretty good so far. All the doors work. There's a set of match batteries. Um, I'm not gonna change them, I'd be stupid to. Uh, it's clean, it's clean and damp inside. It's been raining for, for a week now. Uh, it's been raining for a week now. I, I wanted to uh, get nice pictures and a video of it dry, but uh, whatever. So the safety chains are missing. They're located inside the thing. This is a surge brake. When you put the brakes on on the truck, it pushes this inwards which pushes the master cylinder in, which sends juice to the back wheels, which applies the brakes. Then when you pull ahead or let your foot off the brake, this comes back out. It's like putting your foot on the brake on and off. It works perfect. There's the leg. It's, it's uh, missing the... Uh... It's missing the uh, jack. There's a, there's a crank that goes on to this. And it's supposed to be mounted here, it's missing. This is the typical plug for the military. Uh, the lights on this are 24 volt. You could just swap out the bulbs and then chop that off and put a <sighs> chop that off and put a uh, flat plug on. There's all the how to start it, all the, what kind of fuel and all it takes. This is a diesel, of course. This has 4,583 hours on it now. There's where the storage box. There's nothing in the storage box. Clean and damp. If it wasn't <laughs> if it wasn't raining, it'd be clean and dry. That's where you put the, the power in. The wrench is missing. Uh, once again, clean and wet, but you know, still good. It starts and runs perfect. Uh, we'll take a walk around. These are the brakes. They're the parking brakes. You put them on, they both work. These are Humvee run flat tires. These tires are made to run 50 miles an hour flat. The fire extinguisher is missing. The ground rods are missing. Usually the ground rods are mounted underneath there. There was probably a set in this box, but they probably left them wherever it was. It's got the cark paint. The back of it looks really good. There's some trauma there to the corner. A hunk of paint missing. And the fuel gauge doesn't work, so I'm going to assume that somebody was in here screwing around. They started to take some screws out, and that's as far as they got. Here's where you hook the auxiliary fuel line. Uh, you hook a line to this and run it. You could tee it into your oil burner, into a drum, a five-gallon can. And this machine, uh, it'll start and run. There's the safety chains, and in each of these, each of these envelopes... This is the manual for the trailer, and this is the manual for the generator. Uh, usually there's ground rods in that box, there isn't. The military painted over the numbers and stuff as always. Turn signals are there, they're a little bit bent, but whatever. It's got the third leg, the third leg is there, the pin is holding it in place. Come around this side now, we should be able to see the tires. Tires are like brand new. They still have the little tits sticking out of them. They're to run flats once again. All the diagrams are on the panels, the inside of the panels. There's the fuel system diagram, battery diagram, line diagram for the electrical, match battery. Uh, I'd like to say clean and dry, but it's clean and wet. Uh, here's where you turn it on and off with the crank switch, dead crank storage. It's got the upgraded fuel pump. There's another uh, hunk of paint missing there. Coming around. All the latches work good. Oh, the oil's clean. It's gonna come with an oil change. You're gonna have to do it. Here's where you drain the fuel tank. That's bone dry. That's how you like to see it. 
the whole machine is nice and clean, nice and straight. Usually when, the, when it's not on a trailer, they come in and they always poke holes in this with the forks because they're drunken sailors. <laughs> they, miss the, they always miss the uh, holes. Here's where the cable comes out. See, this is the ground wire here. It's connected. It comes out of this bag. That's where the power would come out. This is for adjusting the throttle. Convenience outlets. It has a diagnostic thing, but they never made a, a, a whatchamacallit for that. Apparently, this serves in the Army. Uh, surge brakes. This is all about the trailer. Of course, they painted over it. Somebody welded them brackets on there. Uh, let's give her a start. So we're going to turn this to prime and run. You can hear the fuel pump running. This is the test, show you that everything's working. All right, and then we're going to turn this to preheat. We'll preheat it for a few seconds. And if you, I don't know if you heard it clicking or not. I haven't started this at all. It's uh, well, two days ago, and now it's starting to rain, of course. So it, it smokes a little when you first start it, but it clears right up. So we're going to watch that flapper there. A little puff of smoke. Start it right up. It's making juice. Good oil pressure. Stone cold. I told you this ain't working. You can watch this, this will come down as it runs. Uh, we need to turn the throttle up to get the hertz up to 60. A little bit more. Sorry, I'm right-handed. It's hard to, it's hard to keep the camera on here. There we go, 60 hertz, right on the money. And there's the voltage. We're not using no current. You can see this has come down. We'll take a walk around. See, there's a little bit of smoke. I believe that's from the uh, their st fuel stabilizer in there. This machine is clean, clean as could be. Uh, it starts and runs like a new machine. It looks good. Uh. It's really quiet. They hook the slave receptacle for jumper cables. They make a NATO, NATO, a set of NATO jumper cables. Look, it's clear as a bell now. No smoke at all coming out of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful machine. Oh. <clears throat> Here's where you set the voltage. So there's, let's see. Uh, oh, there, it's on 220 now. There's 110, you can adjust it too. See it coming up right there, right, 110. 60 hertz right on the money these are oh this is that's for the circuit breaker there's a contactor in here that sends power to them terminals otherwise there's nothing on it uh, here's the panel lights um, this is the battle short you turn this on this will this will run without water without oil there's your uh, test lights everything's in operation if you have any questions, call me, 570-527-6056. 570-527-6056. And my name is Emery, and this machine is for sale for $27.50. We'll start her again. Start it right up, little puff of smoke, and then it stopped. Thank you for looking. Bye.